Yes, special video today. Some may say not that special to me. I think it is, but it's based on Oda and how Oda has been doing things. Well, first things first, this is being reported by Kotaku.com. And, and for me personally, I'm not that familiar with Kotaku.com. However, I did see an article where they said that people think they can see reused dick in Street Fighter 6 reveal. That's when I knew I was in the right place and they were a very reputable source. <laughs> Seriously though, there is an article about One Piece here that we want to talk about. I did reference it in a previous video, so you guys should know what the hell I'm talking about here. But it's basically people in title voters shit with the hiatus, okay? People are fed up. People are saying, nah, B, we're not rocking with that no more. You got to come up, put up, or shut up, or we done with it. Which I'm kind of like, ah, it's been 20 years. I think the man deserves a break. But people, not just regular people, Japanese people are complaining. Not saying Japanese people aren't regular people they are uh, anyway um the reason why i'm saying that is because typically the people that complain about the hiatus are the people over here the people in the u.s the people with privilege not saying japanese people don't have yeah i'm gonna just get off of that what i'm saying is these are people that typically we don't hear complaints from the people that we typically do they're okay with it right and when i talk I've, I've talked about this in the past and people are normally like well get well oda oda rest up they're obviously the occasional oda get good oda sucks but for the most part his overwhelming support saying oda should get better not in terms of writing but just in terms of his health and he deserves as much time as he wants because he's been writing for so long and one piece has been consistently good for so long now we have the other people here the people closer to this, the Japanese, right? The purists. So as reported by Kotaku.com, they said that my Jitsu reports that a segment of fans in Japan are not only annoyed by the pacing of the current Wano country arc, which began in 2018, but also by the manga going on hiatus. That last complaint is rather silly, if not selfish, to be honest, considering how hard manga creator Ichiro Oda has worked and for how long. This guy isn't a machine, he needs some time to recharge and to do things like sleep. They then go on to reference some of the complaints, the actual quotes from what people are saying here and yeah i was gonna make a very inappropriate joke we'll move on but here the quotes are well one one piece going on hiatus is no good one piece of late has been going on hiatus a bunch plus the story development has been sloppy the most recent shonen jump was pretty interesting but one piece you're taking too much time off one piece is going on too many breaks it's like every other week don't take the week off because the story isn't going well they go on to say as noted on my jitsu the problem could be with the pacing of the wanna country arc which is said to be dragging on and losing the interest of fans this in turn impacts the anime and becomes harder to win over new readers. Meanwhile, in the past few years, One Piece has been outsold by manga like Demon Slayer and Jujutsu Kaisen, but make no mistake, it is still an incredibly successful and popular manga. Okay, uh... <sighs> yeah. How do I feel about it? Uh, I think in circumstances, you try not to be dismissive, right? Everyone has their own complaints. Everybody gonna feel how they gonna feel. And for me, I'm just like, yo, it is what it is. Personally, I think think i've just gotten used to it like i used to be against this like all the breaks and like come on man this is annoying I, however i've been reading one piece for so long i don't it's kind of like it is what it is at this point yes we know for every month it's at most four chapters <laughs> what no it's at most three chapters a month right and then sometimes we get the occasional two and i think based off of the holiday that happens over christmas time then we come back then it's a break then it comes back then it's another break like the holidays are always rough so when we come back we like yo did did Oda quit? What the hell is going on? Is somebody else? You do feel some type of way, but covering the story for so long, you kind of get used to it. But also, I have some more context and context in regards to other mangaka and mangaka that I have grown to love and their stories that I've grown to enjoy, but I can't enjoy them anymore because they're not right no more. And that's Hunter Hunter from my guy Togashi, and then rest in peace Kentaro Miura from Berserk right who passed away before the story was even done so looking at it from that perspective how the hell can i even complain about oda taking his breaks when in the past we heard about how just how much he used to work and he still doesn't sleep as much it would be a bit selfish for me right and sometimes i can be a selfish nigga but i'm gonna say it now i understand and i appreciate him taking his breaks so he can finish the story the way he wants to so i mentioned before that i caught up to demon slayer right i finished the manga good manga and i tweeted recently if you want to be a part of my tweets and interactions etc follow me on twitter at brago ds but i tweeted recently hey did anybody feel the same way about Demon Slayer? And it's a spoiler. If you haven't caught up, you probably shouldn't read the thread or even the replies because people do spoil. But my feeling reading the manga was that it felt rushed. The upcoming arc is fantastic and it had some fantastic moments after that, but it felt like, whoa, we were just beelining to the finish line. Catching up now, I'm like, yo, what the hell? Were they okay? Demon Slayer blew up. Why would we rush to the end? But people are telling me now that the author was 
sick and going through some health problems so they were like you know what i want to wrap up the story and get to the end and get to the end they did because that shit felt like it was a blur i'm talking about after the next arc we kind of montage through some of it that's what it felt like now for one piece the breaks not only affects the manga it also affects the anime something that we don't normally think about because the anime really goes on break the anime is every single goddamn week where i'm like yo you guys should probably take a break because right now it is not hitting right and for a large majority of wano the anime was better right but then it has gotten closer and closer so then you can see they kind of pulled back a lot where they're like you know we got to slow up and i'm like we could have gotten three or four episodes out of whitebeard versus roger you guys could have extended that shit add whatever you want into that fight we could have gotten a lot of that but then we extend like sometimes bullshit like just keep it a bean in this instance though the anime is affected and recently the quality of the anime has not been good right the pacing has been just horrid and it's gonna keep going because goddamn they don't got no material to work with so every break the manga takes the anime has to fill in like five minutes of characters just running or like remember kid taking out a poo bro that took half the episode kid literally slow walked to a poo half the episode gathering metal half the episode it's like bro come on like really that's what we're doing okay all right i'm not gonna tell you not to be frustrated but i think you gotta be someone understanding right this is one man of course he got a team right it's not just him two decades later one piece i believe is still good still great even and it's still going on right so as long as oda can finish his story guys i mean it's so interesting that it's coming from people in japan because they are closest to the situation they understand this shit they're still like nah b it's not good but let me ask you guys right let's let's get into our bag real quick based on the comments that they're saying about one piece not being any good the hiatus is bothering the story do we feel the effects of the hiatus more because the story isn't going the way that people expect it to or it's not as good as people would like for it to be so it's like you're going on break but you're not just going on break you're going on break and leaving us with mid all right that's what people are saying for the most part in japan so y'all can't blame the niggas in the u.s no more right these are the japanese niggas saying this shit now they're the ones that saying oh the ain't oh the pen ain't like it used to be and of course it's not that many quotes the majority of people still like one piece but one piece looking at the sales year by year let's look at the total sales of one piece volumes per year from 2008 we went from 5 million jumping to 2011 we got to 37 million 37 million 2007 that's of course peak marine ford then it starts to dwindle 2012 to 2013 then we get to the worst in a long time 2018 that was 8 mil and 2019 picked back up and then 2019 we picked back up and 2020 was 7 mil so of course the volumes sold per year is down technically however the sales are just down overall one piece is on a regular like one piece used to be on top every single year like it was no question now demon slayer just went dummy and jujutsu kaisen is making a name for itself tokyo avengers is doing its thing spy family and even kingdom right so one piece in regards to sales it's not what it used to be and for the story wano has been going for a long ass time maybe at some point we got to talk about the pacing in wano when you're in it it's easy to lose track wano has been going off for three years now it's crazy so you guys can give me your thoughts what do you feel about it do you guys agree with some of it are you kind of in the middle it's like eh, i understand it's been going on for a while do you think the story is still as good because some people say the story is is as good as it's ever been some people say well the story has fallen off drastically i would say this right back in the day a lot of one piece fans i never got into the sales conversation because that shit didn't matter to me the money wasn't coming to me you feel me but a lot of one piece fans used to say men lie women lie numbers don't lie the sales is telling you one piece is goddamn good now what is the sales telling us one piece is still very popular <sighs> Just not as popular as it used to be, right? But guys, let me know. Give me your thoughts. Make sure to like the video if you did. Subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Follow me on Twitter at BragoDAs. Follow me on Instagram at BragoD.A's. Thank you to my patrons. I appreciate you guys all so much. Again, guys, be sure to like and subscribe. And I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace. Okay, I start doubting me, I felt lost. I